You cannot just feel you're alone. You do not have to think you do not need anyone around you. There are decisions that can help you through the struggles of life. And there are some decisions too that may keep you out of the ease and the fullness of life and the plans of God for you. You must know this, that it has always been the intentions of the Lord for you to have someone in your life. Do you know that the mission you have come to the earth to accomplish is bigger and wider than your own human capacity? You cannot do it all alone, not just that. There are some situations in life you may be exhausted all by yourself, and you need someone that will cheer you up and give you that energy that you need to move on again. You need someone that will accept you in your state and develop you into a better person that will fulfill purpose and live the best life ever. You need someone that will love and care about you. You need someone that will not let go of you even in that darkest time of your life. Do you know so many people break down, not just because of the pressure that is on them about the issues of life, but because they feel abandoned and left alone in the time of their life that they needed someone to stand by them. God is not giving you such situations, and you must know that you do not have to allow your past experience to affect your future life. God is reminding you this so that you will know that your life is not just the only one with the trouble. God is bringing this to your understanding so that you will not just feel you're being alone because you have been treated badly and wrongly judged by people in the past. God wants you to know that it is not his will and plan for you to live in solitude, hopelessness and fields of rejection with the thought that you do have what it takes to be accepted by others. You need someone to make you complete. You need someone that will tell you how beautiful and good you are. You need someone that will make you feel special like that king and the queen that you are on earth. You're not just a nobody. You're not helpless. You have a God in heaven that is the ruler over everything. Can I tell you this now? That you are a heir to the throne of God. Do you know that the same ruling power and authority that God has in him, he has also given to you so that you will rule in dominion here on earth the same way he is ruling over everything he has made that was made. Once have I spoken, and twice have I heard that all power belongs to God, and been a heir to the throne and the kingdom of God. You have been given the same power, authority, and dominion to do everything that God does. Do you see the reason you do not need anyone that will make you feel inadequate about yourself? You do not need anyone that will bring the problem into your life. You do not need anyone that will destroy and disorganize you. What you need is someone that will give you that perfect recognition. God is saying now that what you need is someone that will give you the support, someone that will accept you and complete you. God created man and put him in the garden. He gave him every power and authority to reign over every creature, living and non-living creature that he has made and handled over to him. The destiny that has been prepared for him is very big and the scope of control is a very wide one for him to handle. Then one day God saw the helplessness and incompleteness of man and he said, Genesis 2.18 Now the Lord God said, it is not good, sufficient, satisfactory that the man should be alone. I will make him a helpmeet, suitable, adapted, complementary for him. Because of the responsibilities and the workload that was on the man alone, God knows what you can do and the limits to your power. That is the reason he's saying to you in the journey of your life, you need someone. You need that one person that will accept you and be the complement to your person. God told man he created, Genesis 2.15, and the Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to tend and guard and keep it. 
This is one great responsibility that was on man that God knows this man cannot do it alone. So God acknowledged that he needs someone that will accept him and the work given to him to do. That future, that mission, and that place God is taking you through in life, you need someone that will accept you and the life God has given to you. You do not need someone that will only love you and will not be relevant to your dreams. You do not need someone that will be with you, but will not add any value to your purpose. The person that God has prepared for you will love you and likewise support your dream alongside. You do not need someone that will distract you. What you need is someone that will stand by you and encourage you to do better than you can do. You need a voice that will always speak possibilities into you. You need a voice that will give you that idea that will make you pull through that hurdles before you in the journey. You need someone to complete you and give you that sense of wholeness. Someone that will give you the pride of livelihood and sense of living. And not someone that will make you lose your values and tell you lots of time how much you do not worth the life you have. God is saying to you now, you need someone that will give your life a meaning. Someone that will come into your life and you will see yourself doing well on the things that you do. When Adam saw Eve, he said, this is the flesh of my flesh and the bone of bone. He at a glance saw his completeness in that woman that God has made for him to help him. He saw satisfaction. He saw the fullness of his humanity in her. He saw help and saw the fulfillment of destiny in her already. That is what God is saying to you this day, that of all the things that want and those things you will want to get into your life, you must not forget to know this truth, that you need someone that will accept you and not people that will reject you and make you worthless. There are a great deal of good that you will always have when the person that will accept and complete you is in your life. You will not have to struggle to understand yourselves in that relationship or whatsoever that is bonding you together. Your life and your future will always have the support system that will make it easy for you to accomplish that dream that you have always had for yourself. You would have help when God has given you a helper in all things. When you're not there, things will always run in the normal way like you were there. That is the understanding that you will always have when you have that person that will accept you. Your boldness and your courage will be full and your self-respect and esteem will be on high because someone that sees you the same way God is seeing you has come into your life. You have to decide not to allow people that do not know your worth to relate weakness to you. You must tell yourself, I'm a full package for anyone that will come into my life. You need love. You need care. You need someone that will always be there for you in time of loneliness and in all the times. In time of abundance and in time of lack. You need someone with you when you're confused and do not know what to do. You have to wait on God to receive that best person from God. Because every good thing comes from the Lord and God is always ready to give you that person that will love you and help your dreams come true. Do you know you can make it? Do you know you can have everything you wanted in life and make your life sweet if you look up to God for the gift of everything? If you want love, if you want the person that will accept you and complete you, then ask from God and you will receive it. Let God be the beginning and the ending of your expectations and you will see how God will bring that person to you. That thought of loneliness is going away because God is giving you that person that will complete you. That sense of inferiority and unworthiness is dissolving in you now. God is taking away your fear and he's giving you that strength and vision that will drive your life. Do not see yourself again as helpless because your helper is coming to you already. Your history of wrong is being corrected and things are about to change for you. People will begin to believe and accept you now.